Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Today's topic is dryer transition ducts. There's a whole bunch of different ones out there on the market, including these UL listed foil ducts that a lot of home inspectors don't like. Today, I'm gonna start these on fire. So to connect a clothes dryer to the dryer duct, you can use a dryer transition duct. You can use up to eight feet of this flexible stuff and there's a bunch of them out there. Now, surprisingly, code only says that it needs to be UL listed. They don't say what material it needs to consist of. So I went to the store and I bought a bunch of different ones that we see in homes. One of them is this UL listed foil duct. You see a ton of this stuff. This is acceptable by code. Another one, is the corrugated aluminum. Now this is what a lot of people like to see. People always say this is the best one out there. This is UL listed, so we're gonna try this one out. Here's another corrugated one. It looks pretty much identical, doesn't it? It's not. This is actually not UL listed, but taking a quick glance, you really can't tell the difference. And then finally, I've got this UL listed foil duct sells for a heck of a lot more money and it's actually made by Innovate products and it's called Dryer Flex. This is repackaged as GE. We're gonna test this one too. So my little rig here is designed to simulate a clothes dryer. I've got a fan here, I've got a duct reduced a little bit, I've got a big hole here so we can see what's going on but with a bigger fan, it should be about the same amount of air that you end up getting from a clothes dryer. First up, we have a UL listed oil dryer transition duct. To simulate a dryer duct filled up with lint, I'm gonna fill this whole thing up with shredded paper because we need something inside here that's gonna start on fire. Now we're ready for the moment of truth and see how it holds up. Here comes the flames. So as you can see, it didn't take any time at all for flames to lick right through the side of the foil dryer transition duct. Now we're stepping it up. We're gonna use semi-rigid, but it's not UL listed. Wow, look at that. The flames are going right through the connector at the end and our end is actually falling apart. Look at that. The transition duct, you can see this has failed at the end too. Next, we're gonna do the UL listed semi-rigid foil transition duct. Ooh, this stuff is a lot stronger. So just like with the other one, this contained the fire pretty well. In fact, it completely contained it, but look at those flames, that's crazy. Thankfully, this UL listed transition duct contained all the flames, that's beautiful. All right, so now for the last test, we're gonna use the UL listed foil transition duct that's made by Dryer Flex. So it looks like this one is performing really similar to the UL listed semi-rigid, except we are getting some flames coming out of the bottom, just like we did on the other one. So I'd say this has very similar performance characteristics. So when it comes to performance for your own home and deciding what to install, I would recommend either one of these materials, either the semi-rigid UL listed or the Dryer Flex branded under GE. For more information, visit our website at structuretech1.com.